step of my underpainting process before I seal it off. I'm gonna start with a couple of key palettes here and um, make them work for me. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna sort of go through and, and really look at the areas that I've gotten so far. Some have occurred with uh, the texture combined with the fluid paint and the flow medium that I'm using. And I, I'm gonna sort of pick and choose and say which ones that I really wanna retain and which, you know, like, like which drips I wanna kind of go ahead and paint over and sort of get, uh, make to move a little bit more to the background, softening up the, the beach color here. Using, um, I'm using a little bit of a Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of Naples Yellow and some Titan Buff. I don't want to obliterate all of that nice color. I just want to sort of give me, myself a, a foundation of depth here before I seal this particular underpainting. cases I'm, I'm actually adding a little bit more color there that was um, a little bit of, of burnt umber and then I kind of like the soft green effect that I'm getting here and that is a result of that that aqua blue sort of dripping down into my orange that I had my cadmium orange that I had and as you know um, that is going to create a neutral really important to have a strong grasp of your color palette and uh, what different colors do to one another, how they react together, how they're going to sit together side by side, but also how they're going to how they're going to react if they happen to mix. A lot of that is important to creating a, a really great painting. And I'm a, I'm a big proponent of layering colors on that uh, in your underpainting that may not may not seem to be the intuitive colors that you want to use. I've layered on some browns here, even in the water areas, some um, Payne's gray, and um, you know a couple of other colors, and even a couple of warm browns have gone into that that aqua blue color because I want to I want to sort of take it down from being that that really almost fake color. See what happens when I layer a little bit of my uh, my burnt umber burnt sienna rather into my aquas. It it creates a little bit of a neutralization there. And that's just going to make my painting be a little bit more realistic. Now I, I paint abstract, obviously, but um, that really has nothing to do, compositional abstract has nothing to do with um, having it, you know, have a feel of life to it. You want it to have a realistic life feel to it. And, and that is done with your atmospheric colors and being able to layer your atmospheric colors successfully. Making your colors work for you. You should make your colors work for you and you should definitely make your texture work for you. I mean, that texture that I've laid on there is really gonna make those waves look like they're churning and uh, foaming and just really give it an atmospheric feel much my first underpainting. It's still dripping a little bit. It's still wet. I'm letting the colors sort of blend together naturally as they flow together. That's one of my one of my techniques that I like to use. Some of the drips will still be visible at the end of the painting and some of them will kind of get washed into the, the over paintings that go into it. 
but I love retaining some of the very cool pooling that I get where the colors are blending together and dripping together.